season, Luke Richardson was nothing more than a spare part on a Tampa team that didn't make it past the first round of the playoffs. He suited up in just 27 regular season games and none in the postseason. So the 38-year-old admitted that the thought of retirement crossed his mind. I think at the beginning, um, when I first started not to play a lot, and uh, I started sitting out and uh, it kind of, you know, frustration set in. So I think, but by the end of the year, when I was doing some assistant coaching duties, I think there was something kicked in watching the playoffs, that desire was still there. And I watched, uh, you know, especially New Jersey, they had some defensive, defensive defensemen like myself playing, and I thought I could do, do the job they were doing. And I wanted to really get back at, uh, you know, I think the playoff atmosphere just gave me that little bit of jolt of energy that I, I still had the desire in you. And I think it's more the desire than it is the ability or the, the physical ableness. Uh, at an older player's age, it's the desire. If you have the desire and the passion that you want to play, um, I think that's what keeps guys going, like Chris Chelios or, you know, Joe Sackett or whoever. I think, you know, they've accomplished so much in their careers that, uh, if they didn't have the desire, why would they be playing? They wouldn't be playing if they didn't have that desire. So I think uh, that, that de burning desire was there in the playoffs, and that got me home and fired up to start working out and really setting my goals for this year. Richardson hasn't been to the Stanley Cup playoffs in six years, and he was forced to watch the Sens run for the finals last year as a fan. He says watching this city get wrapped up in Sens fever was exciting, and he would love to be a part of a team that brings the Cup back home. The excitement of the city was great, and uh, that's another reason why it's it's great for me to have a chance to play with a, a superior team like this and uh, make your job easier out there with the talent that this team has and uh, the confidence that they display, from, especially uh, from last year uh, in the playoffs. It was a lot of fun. I brought my kids to a few games, and uh, you know, coming home, uh, that was the talk of the town, and all, all your friends were talking about it. So, um, you know, for me, it was kind of great to you know, fall into this role on this team because uh, I watched what they went through last year and uh, to try and be a part of that this year will be a great uh, challenge, but it, it'll be a lot of fun. If Richardson is a part of the Sens team that wins it all, you likely won't see his contributions on the stat sheet. Instead, Richardson was brought here for his savvy veteran leadership and ability to guide the younger players in the dressing room. Yeah, I think after 20 years I've gone through every scenario and, uh, you know, good and bad. And uh, unfortunately the bad experiences give you the experience for later on when you do uh, have to help, uh, or not have to. I think uh, some guys don't, and, but I, I like to, uh, you know, give any kind of information or little old stories about yourself to help someone through, uh, uh, whether it's a situation where they're a little naive or a little bit down or, or maybe overwhelmed. And I think uh, whether it's on the ice or off the ice, and, and in this case, Nowadays, off the ice, there's a lot more issues going on than when I broke in. But, uh, uh, you know, I think all those little experiences have, have built up, uh, you know, kind of a, a case for me and a lot of different areas to help guys, uh, you know, like uh, Nick and uh, Cody and, and even other guys that, uh, you know, like, you know, Brian McGrath, for sometimes there's games where he doesn't play or he doesn't dress. And I've been in that role too, where uh, you, you know, you're just not. Uh, the coach's choice that night and it's tough to accept you want to play every night and um, you know you get down on yourself you get frustrated and uh, you know you just want to make sure that you channel that that frustration in a way in a positive way for yourself to show them that you're ready to play that next game uh, because sometimes you can let that negative attitude take over and it drives you the other way and the coaches don't like that and for Richardson he's the leader of an even more important group his family Having the chance to raise his kids in his own hometown is something the proud father of two relishes. I try and spend as much time with my family as possible. They're growing up very quick. I have two daughters, 13 and uh, 11, and they're both into hockey. So that's kind of a, a common ground where we can uh, talk and I can kind of use my experiences to help them. Uh, not even just because I play pro, but uh, I've gone through what they've gone through at uh, different scenarios in minor hockey. And, um, you know, I, I've enjoyed it. Um, Probably the year of the lockout was one of my favorite years to spend with my family because I had the whole year to do it and I helped coach both their uh, hockey teams, both their lacrosse teams, so I probably traveled just as much but uh, it was with them so it was great and so basically that was that's my focal point uh, when I'm not playing hockey, uh, I'm trying to spend as much time as I can with them because I think when they get to the, these ages that they are, they're just their young teens uh, or pre-teens that uh, you realize how fast time does go. 
and 20 years has flown by in the league and 13 and 11 years has flown by in their young lives and, and you just want to be, a, be with them. You want to, you want to be close to them so they, they're getting to be young adults. You, want, you don't want them to grow apart and that's the real life thing where hockey's just a little piece of it uh, in the big scenario and you want to keep that as a focal point uh, you know, in life. You know, hockey has been good to me and my family but it really is a small piece of the real life circle and uh, I think that's a good kind of uh, ground basis to keep your uh, you know life and and uh, on on an even keel and uh, keep it going forward and keep focused on everything.